Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. From this video, in the few more subsequent videos that I'm going to upload in this channel, I'm going to share my journey of how I practice brush strokes. I'm still not perfect, but I'm okay to share whatever I have learned so far. This is exactly what we are going to create in this video because this is the first thing that I did when I wanted to start practicing brush strokes. I have saved every single paper, sketchbook paper of where I have practiced. In each and every video, I'm going to show you that and also going to tell you what kind of challenges I faced and how did I overcome with all tips and tricks that is possible from my side. Let's get started now. I drew one small circle. I'm going to draw two more circles here. So I drew totally four circles. This is, I did not measure. So I just drew at random. I already drew one line. Now I'm going to draw another. Somehow this bothers me. So I'm just going to cut it off. This looks much better now. Let's get started. I'll dot with marine blue in the center. I'll keep some orange dots now. I'll keep some tiny dots in orange now. I'll keep some golden yellow dots. Now I'll keep some tiny dots in yellow. I'll keep four dots in marine blue. Now I'll keep yellow dots. I'll keep orange dots now. I'll keep marine blue dots now. I'll work the dots in yellow. I will walk the dots in orange. Now, when I was practicing this, the mistake that I did was as I was walking the dots, I was so much in a hurry to finish this and keep some brush strokes and see how do they look. So, in that sense of emergency, what I did was I neither walked the dots properly nor kept the strokes properly. So what I learned from my mistake is slow down. Even if it is the first time that you are going to keep brush strokes, I understand how much you must be in an anxiety to see how it looks, but slow down. That will only help you. Most of the times the brush strokes come properly. If you slow down, I'll walk the dots in marine blue. I somehow feel at this moment, had I slowed down when I was making that artwork with brush strokes, I would have gotten it a little better. But 
it was only because of my emergency feeling that i didn't get it right so the first advice for all of you who are watching this video is slow down that's really important So the next step now is to keep brush strokes in both sides. Let me tell you what I did and let me also tell you what was the problem in that and how can you not do that again. Now what I did was the moment I finished walking the dots I just put this brush into the paint and started uh, keeping brush strokes. Don't do that. Now first without using this side of the brush use this side you don't put it in the paint anyway. Now keep your arm at whatever comfortable position that you can and then imagine that this is the brush and you have put it in a paint how would you keep it now when you do this kind of an imagination what happens is you will understand whether you are you have kept your arm in a right position whether you have uh, rested your palm in a right position so you will get to know all that i did not do that when i practiced I learned it later so I'm telling you all now. And then uh the next challenge that I faced was it was easy for me to um do this left side swipe while for this right hand side swipe it was always a problem. So I initially thought I cannot do it. I was frustrated but then I slowed down. I just have to slow down. So then I changed the position of my palm a little bit. I kept it little away and then when I tried slowly it came properly so now when you all want to keep brush strokes so first use the other side of the brush imagining that you are keeping the actual brush stroke and then check for the comfort of your palm position then start the real brush stroke now I'm going to keep two side swipes in yellow using brush See, I have loaded appropriate amount of paint in the brush, and I'm going to start it from here. So I have kept my palm in a comfortable position. Start with high pressure. Slowly reduce the pressure while you are lifting the brush. So I'll start with high pressure. Slowly move your brush, and you also lift your brush. I'll do it again. Now I'm changing my palm position because I'm doing the swipe the other side. High pressure. move slowly as you finish half of the swipe start lifting your brush keep moving slowly towards the end lift the brush i'll repeat the same thing again this side Now I'm going to do these wipes for the other two. Now the next challenge that I faced was after keeping one brush stroke, do I keep another immediately or do I wait? until the first brush stroke is little dry what i personally did was to keep it immediately but gave a little space so that my second stroke will not be over the first one i'll show you now Now I'm going to keep these bushes on both sides using marine blue.
Now, let me compare this work with what I showed you earlier. Look at this now. The brush strokes are definitely better in this. The only difference that I personally see in myself is I did a lot of practice between these two. Plus, I slowed down a lot. Now, when I start with dot mandala, I am no more in an emergency to see how my brush strokes are going to look like. So, I always slow down, calm down right from the beginning. So, my brush strokes have definitely gotten better. I am sure this video is very useful to you. Trust me, in another, I am um, planning to upload around 7 to 8 videos and brush strokes or maybe even more. Now, as you watch the video without skipping it, and then practice every single tip that I'm going to give you. By end of you watching and practicing the next few uploads in my channel, trust me, you will be master of brushstrokes. Thank you for watching.